Now then, so I want to show you all this uh, display I managed to grab from Banggood. Uh, it was really cheap, a couple of quid. And uh, I've noticed on some of them they have like a switch on the back. So I decided to mess around and find out what, exactly what that switch does. So um, it arrived in uh, you know, two weeks since I ordered it. Um, it's pretty good quality, I mean I guess it's exactly chintzy plastic. The only problem I have with it is this JST connector is that they used a the right angle one facing the inside of the board. That is pretty difficult to connect. Why not just use a vertical one? Did you have a special sale on right angle connectors, Banggood? Huh? Anyway. Um, circuitry seems fine. There's no like signs of poor quality soldering or reflow. It's pretty good. Um, obviously, Chinese writing on the side. It says 10 volt and then the amps dotted out. So, I don't know what that's all about. Can this be used as an ammeter? I don't know. Anyway, so I've got the display hooked up to my uh, Thulby bench supply, and it's about pulling 10 milliamps, it's dicking around between 10 and 9 milliamps at 5 volts. And the red and the black are the power for the display, and the white is the um, voltage sense line. So I've just got that tied to the power supply. Line just to give us uh, a display. So after a bit of playing around, uh, I found that if you press and hold the button for about five seconds, and there we go, you come to a menu and you're e one U two L three H four A. So we'll start with one U, and to, so you go through all each press of the button now sends you through the menu. So if I press and hold on one U, and the five seconds right, the display starts flashing. Now if I press and hold again, oops, sorry. If I press and hold, it starts incrementing the uh, the uh, display, the number on the display. So it was 5.1, I've now gone up to 5.7. So if you release and then press again, it decrements the value on the display. So one U appears to calibrate the uh, the displayed value when uh, compared to the uh, voltage. So I'll just return that as pretty as close enough. And then just to, to set it, you just leave it and bling, it sets it. So I'll show you two L. Press and hold. This sets the low flashing alarm. So what this does is, is if I disconnect the white wire, it flashes when it reaches when it goes under a voltage. Now I've set it to zero, so when it goes to zero, it just flashes anyway. So if I hook this back up. So I've hooked it back up to the sense line. So if I go to, so if I press and hold this, okay, and then. Right, now I can set when it starts flashing, when it reaches a voltage under this um, value. So it takes a while, but if you press and hold the button, it starts increasing and it gets faster and faster and faster. So I've set it to 5.33 and a quick double flash and that's it. And now you'll see it's at 5.1 which is lower than 5.33 and now the display has started flashing. And again to decrement it you just uh, press and hold to increase then release and press again to decrease. So uh, we're just going to knock this back down to zero again. So back at zero, release the button quick double flash and then it just returns. So now it's stopped flashing now. So 3H is the same as 2L except it's when it starts flashing when the voltage reaches uh, um, over that point. 
I won't bother going into it. I'll just uh, take it. You know, it works. <laughs> so the last one is 4A. You press and hold to enter the menu. As far as I can gather, this I believe is for if you have a current shunt. Because if I increase this to 2, let it flash. So as you can see, I've got 10.2 on there, which was nearly, which, well, this is exactly twice 5.1. So um, I think this is if you are using this display uh, with a current shunt. It would have to be a low side current shunt because um, it couldn't be a high side current shunt because you'd be connecting the uh, negative to the positive side of a supply that you'd be using. So you would have a resistor from the negative side of your supply to the uh, negative terminal of your supply, as it were. It'd be better if I actually just drew, drew a, a diagram. So essentially what it would be is that um, you've built a power supply, say, so this comes from the positive of your power supply to the positive terminal of your power supply. Um, then what you would have is the negative terminal of your power supply with a shunt resistor. Some low value, say like 0R1 or something like that, 0.1 of an arm. Then that goes off the negative terminal of your, oh, sorry, the negative end of your power supply board. So this is the, essentially the front of your power supply and there would be your shunt resistor. So you would have to hook this up as white and this side as black. Okay, you couldn't use it as a high side because obviously you'd be connecting the black to one side and of your, well, your display just wouldn't work. So, yeah, 4A setting, You obviously it's a multiplier, so you would have to set that multiplier uh, to uh, however much current, how much voltage would be dropped across here proportional to the current. So if you've got one amp flowing through this resistor, you would see... 0.1 of uh, a volt drop across this resistor, which means you would have to set that 4A value to 10. So just to demonstrate this display working as an ammeter, uh, I have, um, I'm going to test it using this circuit. So we've got a 10 ohm resistor and a 10 volt supply and a 0.1 ohm resistor. 0.1 ohm resistor is going to act as our shunt. So for the sake of argument, this is approximately 10 ohms so 10 volts over 10 ohms gives us one amp one amp flowing through a 0.1 ohm resistor should give rise to 100 millivolts we've got our display here the white wire connected to this point here the black wire connected to this point here the red wire connected to a separate 5 volt display supply but the uh, 5 volt supply is going to have a uh, going to have its uh, ground connected to the negative of this other supply so it's all common along here so hopefully uh, we should see this read in the region of about 0.1 of an ohm uh, one of a volt sorry i beg your pardon on the display so we'll hook that up on the bench and see what we get so here's my test setup i've got my 10 watt resistor here this is a 0.1 ohm resistor here the blue wire goes back to my little bench supply there, uh, into the uh, negative terminal. The green crocodile clip wire goes to the heavy duty PL320 supply, not heavier duty, and uh, into the negative end. I've got uh, an ammeter connected up to the positive end of the PL320 just so we can view the current going in. And it comes back down the black wire into a 10 ohm load. Um, we got this red and black crocodile clip that's powering our display, as you can see. And then this red, uh, red and grey wire, which is connected to the white, which is connected to the point between the two resistors. So that's our circuit all set up.
So let's turn on our load and measure. So I've got the current limit set to about just over an amp and about 10 volts. So it's okay. We are reading through 935 milliamps, okay, nearly an amp. And so, what do we get on the display? 0.8. Okay. Well, yeah, it's out a bit, but you know, it's, it, it is in the ballpark. It's reading correctly. Now then. So, it's reading the shunt voltage correctly, directly off that uh, 0.1 of an ohm resistor. And we can verify that with uh, the voltmeter as well. So, I'm just going to do that now. So, as you can see, we are reading 94.3.5.6, jittering about there, uh, milli bolts across that resistor. So, yeah, I think that's about right. Now then, so I am now going to change, just remove some wires, I'm going to change the 4 setting, the 4A setting, right? There we go, U1, 2L, 3H, 4A, press and hold. Right, I'm going to change this value to 10. Bingo, leave it alone. Now I should see after this. Yes. Well, it's closer, but yeah, it's, um, it's working, I'd say. I mean, it's not entirely accurate, but you could probably just recalibrate it. Well, anyway, yes. Um, yeah, so I changed the 4 setting to 10, and we're reading now 10 times as much voltage on this display. So that, it does actually, it would, does actually work as an ammeter if you use a shunt. So, great. That's how you turn this voltmeter to read amps. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if you like this video, then like, thumbs up, uh, share, and uh, if you feel like it, subscribe. So, um, take it easy, folks. Catch you later.